what is going on everybody welcome back to a brand new video now this is one of the newest games that I have recently acquired in my steam library Infraspace. it is literally a game all about logistics and I know firsthand how hard logistics are my job in rea reality I'm actually a logistics coordinator for a corporate office and coordinating the moving of our shipments through the network between inclement weather and keeping things on time and just keeping up with our contracted carriers of, you know, where are they at, when are they going to be there, or, okay, well, this carrier just got into a car crash or some form of an accident, truck breaks down. It's just a big headache all the time, and there's all, there's so much on my side of things that I have to do. I mean, I'm not a one-man army. I'm, a, I'm one of four people total on the team. Uh, that's one manager and one lead, and then just two coordinators entirely. And it's uh, uh, it's an interesting job for a while, but you know, doing it all day and keeping up with everything is um, it's real repetitive. But I'm hoping that this experience will actually help us in playing this game for the most part. Now I have played this game a little bit already, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go off with like a new game for the most part. I just kind of got the hang of it at first. One thing I didn't really think about was so when the map loads, where resource placements are, right? So you have, I think, five or six different uh, resources on the map at all times. Um, that being copper, your uh, aluminum, iron, sulfur. You need sulfur. Uh, that's like a base requirement component here. Then there's, I think, iridium. It's purple. Yeah. And I think that's actually about it. That's, that's all you have. And iron, yeah. Okay. And so one of the things I had to sit back and figure out was like, okay, well, how do I, how do I want to build this? What do I want to do? You know, where do I want to build my place up at? You know, because remember, this is logistics. Um, it's just nothing but logistics in this area. Now, of course, in the first part of the game, you know, of course, you can just have roads everywhere. I mean, it's not going to matter. There's a couple of cars. It's not like you have a whole city of trucks and trucks and trucks like you see in the trailer. Um, so, let's see, I, th I think I'm going to build it right here for the most part. Oh, I guess we forgot the green one, uranium, but we won't ever see that uh, for a while. But, so I have everything here that I need. Got my iron ore over here needed to uh, build up a few things, and we got sulfur here in multiple different places. One big thing the game really needs that you need is, like, your base component is sand. Sand is fucking everywhere. I mean, jeez, it's all over the place. Okay, all right, so after some a uh, little bit of some headache or so, here we are. We finally have a little bit of a city going, right? And the city is hmm, slowly growing, I guess you could say. I don't, I don't know what happened. It stopped. Oh, okay, now it's starting to grow again. But for like the longest time, it was stuck at like 20, and I was like, well, I have everything needed. Now, these little things that you're seeing are missing resources. Um, now, if you haven't played the game before, I, I, I like these games. I like these management, resource management type of games or so. Um, and we'll go through some things here. So, I got five mining, just sulfur. I got the two sand gins here. Now, you need sulfur and sand to make concrete. You need it through these two factories. Concrete's needed everywhere. Literally everywhere. Here's our spaceport. Here we have our one of our research buildings. Now the research building needs raw iron ore or whatever to be able to create just little research trucks before it can send off like a resource truck over to the research lab. And the, they are known as blue science packs. Now you need, each truck is basically like 1% and so under my research thing I need five, five trucks basically. Um, now as we go on, you need different types of packs, so if I wanted to get improved wind turbine blades, I need blue and green. I'd have to get green science, build a green lab, and then we need, mm, let's see. Yeah, we need sulfur, we need blue science, and we need uh, microchips. Of course, microchips come from this building here, but you also need copper and iron ore for those as well. So, I mean, it's just, there, there's a lot going on here. Um... Now you can see here, I have this little road going. Of course my road network wasn't that great. My placement of all my uh, power lines was pretty pretty bad, I would say. 
I can see later down the road that this intersection is going to be covered in vehicles. You can choose to put down traffic lights, but right now I have them set to just cut whatever traffic needs to go through needs to go through. Uh, you, now, of course, you can put things anywhere. You can put yield signs, take things off, just have your normal stuff around here, or your traffic lights. I mean, who's going to need a traffic light at a turn, right? At the phases form out for the most part, but currently right now, I mean, we're small. We don't we don't have many vehicles going around. We don't need that much. So currently now we are researching farming. Now, of course, we need farming for food, and that'll open up oh, this this simple farm right here. Now, in case you guys are wondering, this is our storage facility, and then these two buildings produce oxygen. Oxygen shows up in tank tanker trucks. To, uh, buildings like this now everything is set right now to automatically upgrade if we meet the criteria so for that to happen we need each bar right here to be completely full and then it'll upgrade and then the next one needs appliances so then you got to work towards appliances now then I don't really have anything else for you guys until we can uh, you know just kind of get up and going a little more um, now the objective, the end game objective to this game is getting this big freaking colossal endamentine drill out. Um, now that's uh, that's well off a long ways away for the most part. I mean that, that thing is ginormous. I still have all these buildings to go through. I'm hoping maybe we will be to that point at some point in the near future. Now let me think about this for a second, right? Okay, so... This, this is like growing a city, right? We need to find a housing district to just mainly, like, not... I want to put all my houses in one place because then it's just going to get really crowded very quickly. It's like I don't want all my farms in one little congested place as well. I mean, of course, they still have to drive to the neighborhood. But I think for the most, most part, as we expand, I'm going to keep this area open to housing as I grow. And so I will add another road here. And voila. And then uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, right? We could, yeah. We can add a second road like right here. And we'll just keep it short and sweet. Keep only three houses right here. For the most part, add some traffic lights. And for the most part, where is our. Okay. That should work out right there. Alright, now then. I'll put about two farms down. Now, of course, workers will start going up over there. There's a ton of jobs available. Now, this this user interface I'm looking at totally reminds me of City Skylines, like 100%. And I almost feel like that's where they got their inspiration for it as well. And down here at the bottom, now what City doesn't have is this. Our info viewer. Now, 40 out of 20 power. Mm, I don't really know how, how well power really works in this game. I mean, it's it's only been out for a few months. Um, I know that we have so our steel and our concrete, and then we have how what housing is available. 44 slots for housing, 56 jobs are available, and 38 is our population. Now it's red, of course, which is unfortunate. All right, so we still need food, right? And it produces the the higher if you're like fully staffed in every building, the faster this bar goes. All right, so we need steel production to continue on. So we'll start that and we'll see these trucks come out right here. Here's one. These trucks have to go all the way over here to this building to be able to produce things correctly. I didn't put everything right next to each other cuz you know I just like to see the trucks drive someplace. All right, guys. So we made just a little bit more progress uh, since the last time we were here. Now um, I have gotten a little farther. Um, of course, duh. Just said that. All right. So right here we have two electronic buildings, and now we have home appliances. Now when I played by myself, I didn't uh, without you guys. I didn't have home appliances yet. So now that we have that, that's that's a big help. That'll help with the upgrading of all the housing. Uh, districts we have now one thing i have to keep in mind too is all right mm, where do i need to prioritize the work at for the most part right 
Now currently right now it's not a problem because we have two extra people uh, to the job market uh, that are unemployed with 110 housing but 108 jobs. And so they, they could go anywhere. Now of course we are going to unlock the uh, green science pretty soon which is going to be a big help to us as well. Now I'm not entirely sure how uh, when I can unlock, you know, one of these things, you know, it'd be, it'd be great to have one of these. You know, having these wind turbines is lovely, but man, they are just, they're the worst. You know, power substation might actually be even better to run and keeping a wind farm across the map while running a power pool directly to the area. We haven't made it that far yet. Now, currently, right now, where our power network is, uh, it's, it's, it's doing fairly well. Let's see here. We're at a level three, or working towards a level three. Uh, working towards green science. Let's see. Statistics, population, everything's going up. Power. Mm, it's it's something. Power network is still still pretty interesting. Now, I didn't say this to you guys earlier. For the most part, now if you do happen to get this game, that'd be great, and you'll learn it when you play the game. But if you actually take your wind turbine, right? And let's say you want to make a wind farm, and you would you just margin you just want to put them uh, about like that for the most part. Well, the closer you are to the other wind turbine that's already there, the closer you are, uh, it actually uh, causes both of the turbines to slow down and produce less power, uh, I guess, from the wind difference or whatever. So that's why you don't you know you don't see me with like a hundred of these right right next to each other out here. So like if I, let's say, so you see our efficiency directly next to us, it's 1%. If I drop this down, everything stops completely and the power network basically crashes. Now, of course, we take it all the way out here to like 79 or something, or maybe 86, 90. Voila, it's producing a ton of power, almost as much as it needs. Over here, eh, roughly the same and less the closer you are. Okay, so I've ran into a, a minor problem so far, right? I'm not making enough carbon. Now, the only way you can make carbon is you need the three oxygen generators here, and they have to produce carbon as time goes along. And um, the steel factories need that for the most part. And I think just about every building does so far that I've seen. Needs carbon to be able to do something with. At least steel does, and these people do as well. Now, we are we are slightly growing for the most part. I'm not really too sure what else I can uh, show you guys right now because the everything else is totally dependent on how long it takes our research to be done and all. So I think this right here is where I'm going to drop off with you guys, and I will see you guys back here next time in a new video for the most part. Not to mention, too, it's also starting to rain. I think it's going to be a thunderstorm for a bit. Totally don't want to have that, uh, you know, power go out and uh this this video is just done after that basically all right well anyway without further ado i will see you guys back here next time in a brand new video for the most part hopefully it'll be some dead by daylight 2 or maybe a completely different game as well out of the seven new games that i've recently acquired in my steam library but yeah well you guys have a great day Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you do like my videos, do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for updates on new videos.